For system configuration, pressure sensor for measuring air pressure of tire is installed at each tire and receives the LF signal. The LF, as the abbreviation of low frequency, has the frequency of 125 kilohertz and communicates with the initiator using low frequency. The initiator wakes up the sensor and installed at the back of right front tire and at the front of the right rear tire. The receiver sends the signal for waking up the pressure sensor to the initiator and receives RF signal from the pressure sensor. RF, as the abbreviation of radio frequency, has 350 or 433 megahertz, according to the area. The tire pressure, temperature, and sensor ID of each tire are sent to receiver using RF signal. It is installed at back of audio. For the system operation, when receiver sends the signal for waking up the tire pressure sensor, the initiator wakes up the pressure sensors one by one by increasing the amplitude of LF signal. Woken up pressure sensors transmit the RF signal to the receiver. The receiver monitors the pressure and temperature of tire. If the pressure is lower than threshold value, the receiver operates the low pressure warning lamp on the cluster. The specific pressures of tire are 32 PSI for the front tire and 33 PSI for rear tire. When pressure of the front tire is 26 PSI or that of rear tire is 27 PSI, then low pressure warning lamp turns on. When pressure of front tire is over 30 PSI and that of rear tire is over 31 PSI, the warning lamp turns off. If tire position is exchanged or the sensor is replaced, the new sensor position and ID should be entered using GDS and TPMS Exciter. The GDS and VCI are used for entering sensor ID and model name and for changing the receiver mode. TPMS Exciter is used for reading the sensor ID, pressure and temperature. Let's see how to use the tools. First, connect the GDS, VCI, and TPMS Exciter. First, click Vehicle Software Management on the GDS. The sensor ID installed at each tire can be checked through specification information. The sensor ID can be input manually. The vehicle serial number and model may be input. The capacity of the battery embedded into the pressure sensor can be checked through the current data of scanner. The sensor registration is the necessary item to perform when exchanging the tire position or replacing the sensor. This is for inputting the tire pressure sensor position and ID. For setting method, at first, click the sensor registration item, then the explanation for function of sensor item and configuration of sensor ID will be shown. Clicking OK, maintaining the distance of 10 centimeters between TPMS exciter and pressure sensor in a tire that has different color on the screen, click an enter button. Then the pressure sensor ID and position of the tire is registered. In turn, conduct for other tires, then for pressure sensor IDs and position are registered. And click the right item to complete. TPMS installed at Genesis has auto location function and auto learning function. Auto location function is for acknowledging the tire position even if there is no scanner and exciter. To do so, 
drive the vehicle with speed of 20 kilometers per hour or higher for 20 minutes at least. The auto learning function is for acknowledging the sensor ID when replacing the sensor even if there is no scanner and exciter. To do so, drive the vehicle with speed of 20 kilometers per hour or higher for 20 minutes at least. The tire pressure sensor comprises of aluminum material. The tightening torque is 0.4 to 0.5 kilogram meters. Please check the sensor installed condition for replacing the tire to avoid the sensor damage when assemble the tire and wheel.